Hello Pisces, this is your, your July 2018 reading. Understand that this may not resonate with everyone, but I'm hoping to reach a large majority of you. So this is for Pisces, July 2018. Pisces, July 2018. Pisces, July 2018. last month someone probably made you an offer or I thought maybe it was you let's see what's going on this month as usual I'm doing something a little bit different I'm going to do the near future first and then lay out overturn the last four cards until we see what's going on I want to do the near future straight out queen of discs this could be your energy even though it is earth energy it's a starting out energy it could be a uh Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, they're in the upright. So they're stable, sound, and uh, conduct their affairs pretty, uh, how can I say it, St very stable. They're just stable in the community. And people look up to them usually. They think that they, they give good advice. This cross in that is good, is, uh, good fortune. For some reason, I think they will help. They will be helping you if there's somebody else, or you will be trying to overturn your fortune. You know, to pro, you know, progress. Your goal is the Four of Swords. It's in reverse, so I don't see you want to hold back. I, I have a lot to do. This has a lot to do with Pisces getting ahead in life. Doing what they want to do. No longer holding back. Tired of waiting around for things just to come to them. And apparently you have the ability to do it. Again, you got a night of this. It's in the upright. you got an earth energy here. And, and sound, stable. Know what they're doing. It's kind of slow, but they're careful, but efficient at the same time. When they go after something, it usually does work. And it's usually done well but carefully. In the past, you might have been dealing with the Prince of Cups or this could be your own energy. It is in reverse. This is someone who didn't always have things stable, didn't always know what was going to happen, and felt that things were a little out of control in their lives. I'm going to clarify these. And then the near future is the Queen of Cups. Again, this could be your energy. We got, I don't think it's like a lot of people there. I think you just got a lot of sound individuals or you're very sound right now and what you want. The Queen of Cups also could be your energy. It's in the near future. This person, uh, very artistic, poetic, usually attractive, good natured, and, and people just gen generally like being around them. They feel comforted being around this Queen of Cups. And this could be, like I said, your energy. It is a water energy. It also could be a Scorpio or Cancer. I didn't know if I showed you the, the beginning energy, the Eon, the Judgment card. This is someone who makes a final decision. It's in reverse, the beginning energy. Sorry, I should have said this in the beginning. This is someone not making a final decision, the overall energy. In other words, something is not etched in stone. Let me put four face down because I want to find out your near. This is the near future and the present time. This is going to be the next couple weeks or two, no, two, a few days to a few weeks. So this Queen of Cups is in the upright. Let's find out what she's going on. I want to clarify these cards. The Queen of Discs with the Wheel of Fortune crossing it. Why is it there as the current environment? Like Pisces got a good head on their shoulders. Yeah, you're trying to overturn an unhappy home situation, an unhappy environment in general, work, anything like that. You're trying to turn your fortune around, as we stated earlier. It's definitely clarifying that. The Four of Swords in reverse as your goal. No holding back. No longer taking a break. No longer uh, resting out. No longer just zoning out. You're not zoning out anymore. I hate to use that word, but it's like a resting type energy when it's in the upright. You are not resting anymore. Four of Swords, that is your goal. 
in reverse, the Queen of Cups. You're also trying to turn around that Queen of Cups. So your your goal is to turn around your situation, and you do. Because you got the Queen of Cups here as your goal. She's in reverse. So I'm thinking you're trying to turn things around, and you do. Knight of Disc. Who is the Knight of Disc? Why is the Knight of Disc as the foundation? This could be just a partner. This also could, like I said, be your energy, Earth energy. Um, but we'll, we'll, we'll Knight of Disc, why are you there? I want to see what it is first before I blab anymore. Knight of Disc, why are you there? Knight of Swords. Hmm. In reverse. So you got the Knight of Disc, someone sound upright. And next to that is the Knight of Swords. Maybe you are dealing with the Knight of Swords energy and you're trying to deal with it in a certain way that leaves you calm, knowing what you're doing, and handling someone that possibly may not be knowing what they're doing, someone who may come at you kind of erratic, and you're trying to keep calm and control. Or this could be someone in your life that's helping you keep calm and control, and there's a Knight of Swords in reverse that may be influencing the whole situation. And that could be an air sign. That could be uh, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, or just like I said, someone with erratic energy. And they just may be feeling that way. So could be a couple people in your life. Yeah, you're making a final decision. Wait a minute. This judgment is not, you're unable to make a decision. When the judgment is in reverse, this is someone, you're not going to make a final decision on whatever is occurring, but you are keeping calm. You were, when you're looking online and you, and you realize that old meme, uh, uh, keep calm, and they're drinking the tea, that's what you're doing. Prince of Cups, in reverse, in the past. This could be your energy. You're not feeling really stable in the past. You didn't have everything together, and you just didn't know what to do. Prince of Cups, why are you in reverse in the past? Oops, something tried to fall out there. Happens. Not wanting to hang around. Not wanting to wait around. Oh, I'm getting old here. Yeah, you didn't have your, your, your ducks in a row in the past, which, and, and you were tired of just waiting around, letting negativity happen. So, yeah, you're trying to turn around, and you do, because you got the Queen of Cups here. It's in the near future. That's the next few days, few weeks. Queen of Cups, why are you there? In the upright, good card. Yep, you're getting a wish, you're getting blessings, you're you're hopeful. You are hopeful. In, the, in, in some cases, you will get a wish, possibly. So cool. Possible future outcome. Vice. Ten of Swords. By, watch out for betrayal and people around you. Let's find out. Ten of Swords. Why are you there? Why are you there? For Pisces, it's a possible future outcome or advice. Could be, yeah, watch out who you collaborate with. They may stab you in the back, okay? Yeah, what's coming to you is the moon card. There's, there is some deception coming to you, coming towards you. So you, be ready. You, you're alert. you got a good head on your shoulders. Watch your back. The moon card, why are you there? The moon card, why are you there coming towards uh, Pisces? Ace of Swords. You know, someone said, may say something to you. Could have to do with this Knight of Swords reverse or or maybe another, like I said, it could be another water type energy that's in reverse. But they're coming towards you with some pretty harsh words or you're going to find out something that was deceptive. So watch out for betrayal with a uh, Another party, it'd be more than one person because you got the three of pentacles. It's in reverse. Someone's not really working with you, but you are getting a wish still. But watch out for, you know, negative people around you. Your hopes and fears. Yeah, five of swords, maybe a possible argument, fight. You don't want to fight. That could be your fear or someone's going to try to fight you. Ah, these cards just went up. The full card, someone that really. I need another card for the full card because that kind of popped out there. But the fear is no new beginnings possibly and it'd be a big fight. Chariot. Yeah, you don't see anything moving forward. You're thinking the chariot can also be extremely erratic, chaotic if it's in reverse with the full card in reverse. So 
It could be a complete halt in a, an argument that you're afraid of or that someone erratic may start a fight. Outcome. Two of, two of Pentacles. You're not going to work with this person. You may person or individual, that betrayal type situation. Now this is going past July. Remember that? This is Pentacles energy. So you may drop a certain person that may betray you and go with something you're wishing and hope, hoping for because you've got your good, good head on your shoulders. You're seeing things for what they are. You're not hiding, that's for sure. Two of Pentacles in reverse. Why are you there? Yeah, you're going to drop something and start totally something new. Something you like. So yeah, it looks like you may actually get that, turn that fortune around. Yeah, you're going to end something. You're going to end something and start something you like. Because there's a death card and a world card. Both ending cards. You're going to drop a certain situation. It could be a betrayal. I'm thinking it's more business than love. To be honest with you, a few of you are like this. Because I got so many pentacles with the business section here. Betrayal and business possibly. Or just someone you were working with. You're going to find out a deception. You're hoping not to fight, but there may be a fight, and maybe you're fearing it, and you're just going to end it and start something new. But, yeah, you're going to hold back. Here's the Four of Pentacles over here as the overall ending energy. That's someone holding back their finances and, and basically doing what they want with their own finances. Hopefully you can see all this. Keep on changing this around. But, yeah... You're going to drop something and start something new. And you could possibly get a wish. you got a good head on your shoulders, Pisces. And I am glad. See things for what they are. Watch for that backstabbing energy. I don't know what it is. You can leave it in the comments. But that is your reading for July 2018. Talk to you later. Bye.